Hello ladies and gentlemen, I just, this is, first of all, it's the morning garden, and I just got this package from Mr. Runner, um, he, I'm not going to show you his address, uh, I'm not going to show you that, but uh, Mr. Runner, thank you very much sir, thank you, I, I see the seeds in here, and I got my, my magazines for, for my garden stuff, and uh, uh, GrowOrganic.com. I don't remember doing anything uh, with them, but I guess I, I send away a lot for different uh, books uh, about gardening or information. And there, there's some materials you sent me and the seeds and everything. And, I, and what I was most impressed about is your card. Uh, oh, turn it around that way. There we go. And uh, this is his card, ladies and gentlemen. And um, Dry Creek Bee Farm. Hmm. I think this is absolutely fascinating. I think this is absolutely fascinating. Um, he is a heavy bee collector and he sells products, if I'm understanding this correctly, um, relating to his bees and, and the products they produce. But he sent me these seeds and, and it was just beautiful. It, it was nicely wrapped and. Um, I'm going to go through this. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting in for work. So I saw this in the mailbox and I said, oh, this is really nice. I appreciate that. Now, these are the seeds you sent me relating to the corn. And it's amazing, but but uh, I now, because of uh, you giving me the information, I looked for this for a while, these, these seeds. I mean, what kind of corn that was I ate. And it was so sweet. And I was, like I said, I was eating it out there, picking it right off of the uh, uh, the uh, stock and, and eating it and hoping no one was staring down at me and says he, he's eating that without cooking it but that's the first time I ever did that and this corn here you sent to me could possibly be that corn and I hope that it is because now I know uh, based on the name and everything you gave me on how to find it um, and I'm gonna get into uh, I've been looking at some articles on growing corn I want to grow it the best way I can. Make sure that my biggest problem is uh, uh, once I get the garden in, you know, you know, I tend to, you know, feed it, water it every blue moon. And, but this time I'm just gonna on a regular schedule and make sure that it eats and make sure it has water and make sure it has what it needs. Because in, in fact, a lot of people keep forgetting when they put stuff in the ground that it is in fact alive and it is. Even though it's stationary, it needs food, sun, water, and, and, and it needs to be fed. And some plants like to eat more than others because they're what we call heavy feeders because of the size of the fruit and, and everything that they produce. But Mr. Runner, I'm going to close out on that note. I, I, I really appreciate this. I really do. Um, the card I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this card because this is this is a... I like to see people that are seriously into what they're doing, they're doing, and uh, and 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 they really, um, uh, you know, doing doing their best. And this is what I say. This is a, what they say. Runner Red. That's a channel on YouTube. That's it right there, folks. I found his channel, and the man was speaking straight about gardening. None of that. That, that fluff stuff he didn't make it he didn't uh, make it complicated he just said here's how you grow watermelon this is what you do and now it's done and here's how you put the, you know any and, he, and he, that's what I liked and so immediately I subscribed to him that evening ladies and gentlemen before I go and mr. runner again thank you very much I appreciate it and I'll be checking your channel out uh, to see what other uh, information you give the people about growing things because I think the more we can keep it simple the more people get into garden gardening and they can become successful because sometimes these, these guys they talk like that's the only way to do it and they make it all complex and and I see them doing things and I look and I said that's not right but but that's what they do they want to be smart so they talk down to people they don't even know they're doing it um but thank you very much mr runner and i want to thank you again and uh, on that note this has been the morning gardener 
and I'm going to get some rest. Got to go to work tomorrow. Peace. Morning garden show again. Now look how all this looks over here. It's nice and clean and neat. And this is from the winter. The winter did it. This is my trees. So I got to still prop this one up. I got to find a better way to do it because I need it to stay propped up so it'll grow straight. This one's the same way. It's kind of lean forward. They do that sometimes, aiming them themselves towards the sun. Now over here, this soil over here really uh, looks good. It, it, it's, that's all wood chips that you're seeing here. Because I used to pile it up really heavy here. After it breaks down, it looks like really good, really good soil. And I see we got uh, the blackberry bush here. That's gonna do. That's gonna be done really, really uh, well this year. I'm gonna really load it up with a lot of good nutrients so it'll grow right. And the key is taking care of your plants. Here's another one. Here's barely can be seen because you know blackberries are the same color as the weeds that are there. But then you see the wood that's around the base of these trees. Here's a tree here, and uh, the wood is right underneath. That's that's nourishment. And then here, some more wood. Right there, around the base of this tree. And uh, and here's a whole bunch of wood that's around the base of my producing uh, peach trees. And here's a, a cherry tree. I gotta make sure I keep these trees down because this tree's getting there. This one's getting tall. I can see that. And he will not get over a certain uh, number of feet, and this tree will not. But I'm looking at it, and it's concerning me because these here stopped at about a foot and a half. You can see it. And this one here is about a foot and a half. But this one here is about three feet that way. So as long as I got a saw, I know how to keep them down. Okay. It's, it's a cherry tree. And, and see, because I have a cherry tree. Here's some, some of my apple trees. They're mostly in the shade right now because it's time of year. Um, let me show you something, you guys, something here if I can find it on me. Hey, on my phone are some apps that help me with uh, my gardening. And here we have one that shows me, of course, the, uh, uh, the weather. And I get that every day. I check it. It's 32 degrees here right now. And it shows me rain days and everything else. So that's very important to know. Um, then we got, this here is my compass. So I could see, you know, which direction the sun is actually shining in. Uh, that's an app that's free. All the apps I'm showing you are free. And I could turn this way, this way my sun comes in. Um, it is because my son comes from the west, and uh, okay. And then I have another one here. Like if I have any disease problems or anything with my um, trees, or if I want to know uh, when to water, or just just basic care for the tree. If I can get it to open, there we are. And this one's free. And it'll blink to another screen to show you what pests, what to do about those. And then we got, uh, we got crops, we got uh, all kinds of information here. And you could get this, and I could say pests, and uh, it talks about beneficial insects and, and non-beneficial insects. And so it goes on and on and on, crops. Um, so you can get these apps, and they'll help you, you know, to look up what fruits will grow in your area, how to care for them, and everything. All right, so that helps me out. I, I use all the information at my disposal. And over here, back up in the big garden now, and I'm just looking at these leaves here. They're still here, and I'm thinking, should I move them? Or not? they got a little bit of plastic in them, but and I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to move these right now because it's 32 degrees out here. You know, of course, I'm not going to be trying to move things around in the winter, dead of winter. But everything looks good here. And I'm going to say that I'm, I can't wait. And I know a lot of you the same way. You can't wait to get started again. Got all the weeds here. 
and all this will be, none of this will be dug up, it'll just be clipped off and left right on the ground. That's what I do with weeds, I use them as fertilizer. Got some more collard greens. This is 32 degrees, 20, 26 last night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the weeds growing around these apple trees. But I got something for them this year. I'm gonna use one of those action hoes and see what that'll do for me in keeping the weeds away from the plants that I want to grow without so much competition. Let's see, we got the, we got the uh, blueberries. They're budding up real heavy right now. You can see the little buds on them. They'll be fed real good. See the wood next to them? And that's what I use. Just little clippings off of trees piled up next to the uh, actual plant I carry. carry. All right, this is the Morning Gardener. Thank you very much for your time. And we'll be back, you know, once we've got something more to talk about. And here's the, uh, the winter uh, garden, winter sowing. And uh, so we're all set. This is the Morning Gardener Show.